talk to me about this this collecting because or you said you collect vinyl which mm. i never understand but okay you collect vinyl but you also everyone knows you worked in a um video, video store, store yeah. when you were young but when the video store went out of business you mm. set up in your house yeah this incredible it's 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 a video store you bought yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah. of the videos right. that they had mm. and you set it up like a video store in your home mm. What it, what I, maybe I understand a little bit the fascination with the, the vinyl, mm -hmm. but why, why videotape when you could have uh, all these films on, you know, digital? Okay, so it went out of business, I think, in uh, the store. Went out of business in, I don't I can't remember if it was 97 or 98, something like, maybe 97 or something. Right. Uh, um, so... When I bought all the video cassettes then, it wasn't some retro thing I was doing. That's what right. we watched. We watched video cassettes. It was the technology of the day. It was the technology of the day. But also, I had invested so much in that collection. I wasn't going to watch it be uh, uh, sold to Blockbuster for you know three cents on the dollar. Uh, right. I I'd, I'd invested my 20s into that collection. Do you think that's what makes you a great director in the fact that you have I, I imagine a great memory for all of these films that you watched. You mm -hmm. watched them over and over again, and now they're ingrained in your head. Mm -hmm. And maybe to become a master filmmaker, you need to draw on what other directors did, and you need to draw on film references. It's not so much I'm taking something, but it's just the fact that so much of my early life, I was just immersed in film. Yeah. I was just in, immersed in it. You know, not too dissimilar from somebody who is a good football player and loves football, is like immersed in the game and is immersed in the history of the game. Yeah, I guess I compare it to painting. The way yeah, I yeah. learned to paint was I'd look at master paintings and yeah. say, how did this guy paint a tree? Right, exactly. I yeah, don't know yeah. how to paint a tree. I don't know how to make a tree come to life on a piece of paper, but here's a guy who did. Right, exactly, yeah. And, and you study that, mm -hmm. and then by... And then all of a sudden, I, you, oh, I, oh, these four strokes gives me a tree. Now, what I want to do with that tree after those four strokes is up to me. 